welcome back to non-league vlogs. We're in very familiar surroundings. Yes. The hashtag arena, the third time we've been to Coles Park for non-league vlogs. You know, in the hashtag colours, mm. intentional, but not official merchandise, I'm afraid to say. But Michael, why are we back here? Well, that's because since the last time we were here, hashtag have done pretty well. And they've got a very crucial game that we're here to watch today. If they win this, they're on the verge of promotion. So we're down here to see how everyone's feeling, what everyone's saying. And most of all, just have a good time and obviously, you know, not forgetting to hashtag it, people. Yeah, let's go. But before we get into the game, we had a chat with Devs and Seb to see how Hashtag have progressed this season. We obviously caught up at the start of the season when this was all pretty new. What's changed and what have been the kind of main challenges that you've seen this season with Hashtag? I'd say there's a couple of challenges. On the pitch, I think we've had to find a way of getting the boys used to playing uh, much more regularly. It's a big commitment we need from the guys. Mm. Uh, training as well, we only train once a week. That, that might need to change to twice a week soon. So the commitment might only even get bigger. The biggest thing f probably would be on the football pitch was the period after the, the Wembley Cup. And there was a little bit of a hangover after that where we, we, we lost some games, dropped, dropped points in the league, got knocked out of cup competitions. To be saying playing at Wembley is, is a bit of a, it's once in a lifetime stuff. But that was probably the, the point where you had to say kind of bringing them back to reality. I don't know, I guess, I guess that kind of like illustrates Kind of the, 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 difference. The, the difference, the kind of world of hashtag United and world of hashtag yeah. United, yeah. the actual football team. I mean, it's funny because obviously we're at the stage of the season now where we, we, we're towards the end and we're in a, a great position. And you can sense that actually, if you speak to the players pre games, probably the last few weeks, playing in front of 100, 200 people here or Halstead or, or Wormley as we have the last few games, you sense that the game meant more to them because it's about our, our achievement, our sense you know, we've, we've earned the right to, for these to, games to mean something. Mm. Um, and there's a more sense of achievement about that that you, you, can, you sense amongst the players that they're proud of and rightly so. Off the pitch, we've used to be turning around a game maybe have a couple of weeks to turn the edit around, maybe only have a couple of games a month to do, and now the guys are working flat out, they start the edit in the clubhouse after the game. They're doing it right now. Well, it's needed uh, us to expand our team. There's a lot that goes on behind the scenes, more than people think, and I think we probably underestimated how much of a task it would be to play as many games as we have this year. And it's a lot of content. We spoke at the start of the season about, you know, some of the kind of criticism that was coming from kind of the more kind of traditionalist non-league fans. Have you noticed, has there been a change in attitude over the course of the season as Hashtag have been getting more and more results and showing them to be a more serious side? I think the results definitely play a part of it. Um, you know, we're there to be shot at, definitely. And uh, for the non-league traditionalist, we're not going to be everyone's cup of tea. Um, and we've had some really kind words from chairmen and managers alike after we've played them away games you know we, we are very much distilling in the players that you know we leave a ground tidier than we had it you know the boys stay behind after their showers they clean the change room at home and away uh, leave it as spotless as we can but uh, I think that has allowed us to change some opinions of people who maybe had the wrong opinion of us and thinking we're just some YouTube fancy boys or something going to turn up and play the big I am or whatever because that really isn't us never has been even before it's not like we're putting a show on yeah slowly but surely we're probably hopefully changing opinions one you know one person at a time some people will be insistent and forever insistent that we're not a proper football club mm. and that's their prerogative that's their opinion there is no such thing mm. as a normal non-league football mm. club I guess I'm not in a position to say that but I would guess that probably there's no such thing as a normal football club I would yeah. be behind the scenes I'd imagine there's a element of craziness uh, some kind of circus going on there's always something happening behind the scenes yeah. so, so I don't think there's any, any yeah. such thing no we're not normal but I don't think anybody is we're, we're babies and we're at the beginning and we'll still be at the beginning in five years and we'll still be at the beginning in ten years and people that kind of say oh you know we're, the, the club is three years old you know we're, we, we're seen as the, not the, the, the YouTube football team but I'm sure we, we might be the first but I don't think we'll be the last have you noticed any changes to how kind of hashtag as a as a kind of entity, as a brand, as a as an institution? Has there been any changes, or or, or do you still see it as kind of what what hashtag was originally? Uh, it's a good question. Uh, it's definitely changed. It's definitely changed. We're trying to evolve. We're very much trying to tell the story of this club. You know, no club stands still. So we're trying to build a solid base for us in non-league football that isn't necessarily all about just getting promoted or whatever. But definitely things have changed, they've had to change because so much has changed in the, the, the world we're playing football in. Uh, we've had to learn and adapt to be part of a bigger league system now as part of the FA. Yeah, definitely things have changed. But behind the scenes, you know, we're all still having a great time, having fun, we're just living our 
you know, living our dreams out, you know, with this football club, doing what we can, having these incredible experiences. And then next season, we just go again. If we do clinch it and we're in a higher league, it's all about can we step up? Can we once again um, raise it again? Because it's just going to get tougher and tougher. Now you've got the lowdown, let's get on with the game. Game so far, Mikey? Uh, not much has happened, to be honest. Hashtag very much on top, though. They are playing Breakthrough Town Reserves. Um, look a lot younger than them. They, they won their first game of the season against them, and they could maybe wrap up the league against them. So, yeah. I'm feeling good. One step closer to promotion. Honesty with a lovely finish on the left hand side into the right hand bottom corner. Nothing the keeper could do about it. Great finish. One no hashtag. What more can I say? Promotion's on its way. I'm pretty sure I got it on camera. You know, if we didn't, uh, we know to blame. Just, it's not me, just saying. Just saying. Yeah. So instead of getting a burger that I've already eaten twice, no point in reviewing that, we thought we'd go to a cafe down the road, Black Tap. Um, very nice, got some breakfast from there. Michael, give us a little rundown of it. Ooh, well, uh, £7.90, first of all, very good value. Yeah. Uh, you get sausage meat, you get uh, eggs, you get cheese, halloumi, and you get a huge salad and a load of really, really nice bread, butter, jam and whatnot. So yeah. lots of different elements. James, what do you make of it? Yeah, I mean, to be fair, I prefer it a lot more than I do to my usual burger. Um, so it's, it's going to be skewed on a burger rating. But as a meal itself, um, it's got to be high up there. I mean, it's really hit the spot. I'm gonna have to say, I have to give it a four as a total. Woo! Because nice. genuinely, like with a coffee as well, just really hit the spot. Really nice, refreshing food. Um, yeah, if you're ever in the area, check it out. 2 0 hashtag, what a bloody goal. Albie Keith with an absolute barnstormer, it's my word of the day, outside the box. We can't say it's goal of the season. Um, we've all seen Charlie Morley's absolute monstrous free kick. Don't think it quite tops that, but what a goal. Goal of the month, let's say. Jesus Christ, did he hit that well. Brilliant goal, brilliant play, 2-0. We were just getting over Albie's goal, and it's 3-0 already. Uh, Neil Richmond, top scorer this season. Not really surprising, was it, but a great goal. I thought it was a cross initially, but somehow chipped over the keeper. Didn't really see it properly, but yeah, 3-0 to hashtag. Fully deserving of this lead. What have you got to say to yourself, James? Uh, I didn't see the goal. We were doing a social post. So not only have I been really impressed by hashtag performance on the field today, I've also been really impressed by the fans. There's way more of them here today than there were at the start of the season. Words uh, clearly got around. Um, the away attendances I hear have been even better. Uh, and there's just been a lot more. Oh, it's another goal. Another goal. 4 0 hashtag. Just heard that that's Gabe Callum who scored that fourth goal. What a day for hashtag, really. And yeah, what a day for the fans who have been yeah, out in force today. Um, yeah. Long may it continue. So that is hashtag done once again. Michael, personally, I thoroughly enjoyed myself. This club is it's a club now. It's not just as people once thought, you know, potentially a silly little YouTube team. They've staked their claim, they've learnt their lessons, because obviously things change within the season. You learn, you develop, you evolve. And I think evolve is a very good word for this club. They are evolving, they're adapting, they're thriving. And that's exactly what we wanted to see. Michael, like, summarise it, because it, it is it's very difficult to do this place. Yeah, I mean, I think you kind of summed it up pretty well there. Apparently the, not perform <laughs> the performance we saw today was really, really mature. By the time this goes out, they may well be champions. I reckon they probably will be. But. Um, what really is amazing is that not only have they been able to um, dominate in this league, really challenge their rivals and prove people wrong on the pitch, they've also been able to keep the essence of what Hashtag United is yes, all about. Keep 100%. the connection with the fans, keep the connection with young fans who otherwise wouldn't be yes, coming yes. to games at this level. Um, and just keeping it fun. It was a really fun match day experience. Mm. Um, the fans were in good voice. Um, they've been you know, bringing more fans to this level, attendances exactly. and whatnot. Like, so it's only been a positive thus far. And let's hope that the next chapter, i.e. next season, the season after, will only get better for hashtag. Thanks once again for speaking to us guys. Thanks for having us down. Yeah, is there anything else you want to say? Uh, like, subscribe if you enjoyed. Yes. Check out Hashtag if you haven't. I know we don't really have the numbers they do, but if you haven't checked them out, why are you not? This is, this is special, very special. But we'll see you next time. See you a bit.